Good morning. My name is Mike Amsbaugh. I'm a service officer here at the Crawford County Veterans Service Office. And today we're just going to be talking about veterans pension. So this isn't designed to take the place of uh, coming in and talking to a service officer either here in our office or in an office where you live. Um, this is just like a general overview of how the pension works. So in order to be eligible for a pension, veteran must be honorably discharged from a period of wartime service and if they're under the age of 65 because it's called a total disability pension they, they must be able to prove that they're totally and permanently disabled from disabilities that in that were incurred post service um, if they're over the age of 65 then the VA waives that and they just look at the first two and then it comes down to what is their income and net worth so for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to be using like, I'm not going to be using the amounts that are today. I'm just going to be using numbers that are illustrative, but they don't really have a basis in what you would be expecting to see if you were filing for pension. So what they do is the VA has an income limit. And this is the maximum income limit for a calendar year. They look at the veteran's gross unadjusted income. And they allow you to subtract what's called unreimbursed medical expenses from it. Now, if that puts the veteran below the, the maximum income limit, the difference is what's paid. So let's say that this puts the, let's say that this is uh, $10,000 and after doing this, it puts the veteran uh, at $9,000 below or total adjusted gross income. That means that the, the, the difference, what the benefit would be is $1,000 divided by 12 months. Um, If the veteran's married, these expenses are for both the veteran and the spouse. If the veteran's single, it's just the veterans. So that's kind of the general overview. This amount, there's, you'll hear people talk about housebound or aid in attendance. Well, those really aren't benefits unto themselves. They're just a higher rate, higher level of pension. So if you think about it this way, this is pension. This is pension at the housebound rate. And this is pension at the aid and attendance rate. As you go up, this way, the dollar, the dollar amount, this amount becomes greater. So that you, you have to reduce this less to receive a benefit. Um, and again, this is based on severity of disability. Uh, so just to show you how this would work, let's say that this is $10,000. And our veteran has adjusted or unadjusted gross income of uh, $15,000. But they spent $10,000 on unreimbursed medical expenses. Their adjusted gross income is now $5,000. This is the amount that the VA allows them to count as it compares to this. The benefit in this scenario would be $5,000. It's the difference between these two. And that's what, that's what the veteran would receive, divided by 12 over, over the year period. Um, when you file for pension, you, you want to have you know, your income, social security, pensions, retirement accounts, uh, 
interest is income. Uh, you you know those sort of things. Uh, they don't typically count a house uh, unless, let's say, you own a house and twenty acres. Well, they would ask what the value of the land is because they're only going to count. They're only going to exempt the house and the land that it sits on, the immediate land that it sits on. The remainder of the land, that's considered to be net worth, and they might ask you, you know, is it possible for you to liquidate some of that to pay some of these bills? Um, so net worth is, there's a limit, uh, and, and if you're below the limit, you're okay. If you're above the limit, then even if you meet this criteria, if your net worth is greater than that, the, the VA would say that, you know, you're, you're going to need to reduce that net worth. Um, so again, this is kind of a, a general overview on how pension works. Uh, it's not designed to be a replacement for going and talking to a service officer. Uh, you know, this is just kind of a the Cliff Notes version. Um, so we would encourage you, if you have questions about pension as a veteran, to contact us here at the Crawford County Veterans Service Office or the service office in your in the city in which you live or the county in which you live. Uh, and a service officer can help you work through this and uh, see if there is a benefit that's available and help you file for that. We thank you so much and uh, we look forward to talking to you again in the future. Thank you.